The dinosaur killer asteroid caused a global tsunami that was a mile high in some areas. This is the Chicxulub Mexican asteroid. We find a tremendous amount of geological evidence, as you can see here. The concentric rings in the peninsula of Mexico that show that it was an impact area. I'll have a series of a few videos concerning this topic because there has been a lot that has been discovered lately, oceanographic and geological evidence concerning this. The Chicxulub asteroid that killed off the dinosaurs caused a global tsunami that was a mile high in some areas and there is a simulation here of this killer wave. The tsunami through Gulf of Mexico caused chaos throughout the whole world's oceans. Experts have now simulated the effects for the first time. This is my, my, by Mark Prigg from Daily Mail. You can see the simulation on there. The nine mile wide asteroid believed to have killed off these dinosaurs caused a tsunami wave so high it was a mile tall. This is what the new study has found. The tsunami through the Gulf of Mexico caused chaos everywhere in all the world's oceans, and experts have now simulated these effects for the first time, saying that it was far worse than they ever thought. Quote, the Kixalub asteroid resulting in a huge global tsunami, the likes of which have not been seen in modern history. And quote, Molly Range, who did the research while getting her master's degree, in the Department of Earth and Environmental Sciences at the University of Michigan explained. Range and her colleagues presented this research. It has yet to be published in a peer-reviewed journal at the American Geophysical Union meeting December 14, just a few weeks ago in Washington, D.C. She said, here we present what is, to our knowledge, the first global simulation of the Chicxulub impact tsunami the impact tsunami spread quickly out of the Gulf of Mexico into the Atlantic and through the Central American Seaway into the Pacific within the first 24 hours. That's what happened on the first day. Wave reflection and refraction created a more complex tsunami propagation pattern by 48 hours post-impact, she says. And she goes on to explain flow velocities exceeded 20 centimeters per second along the shorelines worldwide and may have distributed and disturbed sediments over 6,000 kilometers from this impact origin. It must have been one of the biggest tsunamis ever. This is what Brian Arbick, a physical oceanographer at the University of Michigan who was involved in this study, explained. Compared to the December 26, 2004 Indian tsunami, that's the Boxing Day tsunami that we're all aware of that took place that was devastating. That was one of the largest tsunamis in the modern record. This impact, the, di the dinosaur killing asteroid impact tsunami was approximately 2,600 times more energetic than that one. 2,000, let's say roughly 3,000 times worse than the 2004 Indian tsunami, according to the researchers. Quote, this model suggests that the Volid impact not only had a major effect on the global atmosphere and biosphere, it also created a tsunami of such magnitude that its effect is felt across much of the world's oceans. End quote. So in the Gulf of Mexico, water moved as fast as 89 miles per hour. That's 143 kilometers per hour is what she found. That's uh, pretty fast. I mean, that's as fast as a very fast car. Within the first 24 hours, this is what happened. The effects of the tsunami's impact spread out to the Gulf of Mexico and into the Atlantic, as well as through the Central American Seaway, which does not exist anymore, but used to connect the Gulf to the Pacific Ocean. After the initial nearly mile-high wave, one and a half kilometer high, other huge waves rocked the world's oceans as well after this. Dinosaurs ruled, dominated Earth around 66 million years ago, before they went extinct. The Cretaceous-Tertiary extinction event 
is the name given to this mass extinction. It was believed that for many years the changing climate destroyed the food chain of these reptiles. In the 1980s, archaeologists discovered a layer of iridium. It's an element that's rare on Earth but is found in vast quantities in space. When this was dated, it coincided precisely with when the dinosaurs disappeared from the fossil record, which means that this iridium landed on Earth at that time. Now, uh, when this was dated, it coincidentally, uh, coincidentally uh, coincided precisely with the disappearance of the dinosaurs from the fossil record. A decade later, scientists uncovered the massive Chicxulub crater at the tip of Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula, and that dates to the period in question, the uh, disappearance of the uh, dinosaurs. Scientific consensus now says that these two factors are linked and that they were both probably caused by this enormous asteroid crashing into Earth. With the projected size and impact velocity, the collision would have caused this enormous shock wave and likely triggered seismic activities as well. The asteroid fallout would have created plumes of ash that likely covered all of the planet and made it impossible for dinosaurs to, to survive. As well, other animals and plant species had a shorter time span between generations which allowed them to survive. There are several other theories as to what caused the animal die-off, the, the uh, dinosaur die-off. One early theory was that small mammals ate dinosaur eggs and another proposes that toxic angiosperms, less flowering plants, killed them off. So, okay, but in this, in this point, per case, we see the geological evidence in the, um, in the mineral evidence of iridium. In the South Pacific and North Atlantic, waves reached a maximum height of 46 feet. In the North Pacific, they reached 13 feet, while the Gulf of Mexico saw waves as high as 65 feet in some spots and 328 feet in other spots. The largest modern wave ever recorded in the Southern Hemisphere was a measly 78 feet tall, which struck near New Zealand in May of 2018. Another new study found that the asteroid slammed into Earth so hard it essentially turned solid ground to liquid. Uh, that's another upcoming video I have to say uh, concerning the dinosaur uh, asteroid kill-off. It's having to do with what happened and the it made the earth, the slamming of the asteroid into the Earth made the oceans boil. That's how hot it got because of this impact. Now, going back to this article, this is according to the new study on the unusual ring of smashed rocks beneath Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula, where the massive crater left behind the impact that, came, that killed the dinosaur. We're talking about the geological uh, formation. In a new study by the team at Purdue University, researchers investigating the mountainous right of smashed rocks, known as the peak right, along the Chicxulub crater, is a, fe a feature that is uh, that the only such ring of this kind found on Earth, and formed inside the outer rim after the impact. The crater sits several miles underground and stretches more than 115 miles wide, making it very difficult to study firsthand. And to get a look at it, the International Ocean Discovery Program drilled a six-inch core a mile down into Earth to bring up ancient partly melted rock from this dinosaur killing uh, asteroid of the impact. The feature is the only such ring of its kind found on our planet. The formed and formed inside the outer rim after the impact. The analysis of the samples revealed evidence of a process known as acoustic fluidization. Acoustic fluidization, in which the rock flows like a liquid for several minutes after the asteroid impact. Quote, for a while, the broken rock behaves as a fluid. This is what Jay Mellish, the professor of Earth, Atmospheric and Planetary Sciences at Purdue University, explains. And he says, 
There have been a lot of theories proposed about what mechanisms allow this fluidization to happen, and now we know it's really strong vibrations that shake the rock constantly enough to allow it to flow, end quote. Now, according to the team, this process gives rise to a ring of mountains at the center of the crater forming within minutes of this collision. So you can imagine what kind of fast earth changes took place. Others say uh, the dinosaurs froze with food in their mouths. Others say that uh, the, the oceans were boiling. Here we have the fluidization of, uh, of uh, strong rocks in a couple of minutes. Now the researchers studied fracture zones and patterns in the core dredged up by this massive ring in the ocean. And because of this, they uncovered patterns in the vibration sequence allowing debris to flow. The process did not directly bring about the fall of the dinosaurs, the researchers note, but instead it was the external effects of the asteroid impact that caused their demise. This new understanding finally helped solve the mystery of the dinosaur killer asteroid, the Xixulub mountain rings of the Yucatan Peninsula, and it sheds light to the possible effects of future impacts on Earth. Of course, it would be devastating. Mellor said these findings help us understand how impact craters collapse and how large masses of rock behave in a fluid-like manner in other circumstances such as landslides and earthquakes. Towns have been wiped out by enormous landslides where people thought they were safe but then discovered the rock will flow like liquid when some disturbance sets a big enough mass in motion, end quote. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Capota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.